Nisan Bulavinaka and warm greetings from Fiji, 180 degrees around the world from where you are. In Psalm 126, we hear these words, Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. For us in the Pacific, we practice joy celebration even in times of difficulty through songs through dance through uh, our traditional protocols and cultures in our abundance of love that we share with one another our focus on relationship above all and our connection our deep connection with creation at the same time this passage speaks very strong to strongly to us on the issue of food security and the challenges that we face in the context of sustainable living, taking only what we need, farming and sharing what we have from our crops with others. And so we also remind the opposite of sustainable living, the unsustainable practice of extracting from our land and from our seas. And this changes our joy into weeping changes our joy into cries for justice. In the context of climate change, we are reminded that on a very practical level with the context of saltwater inundation, with floods, droughts and cyclones from extreme weather caused by climate change and from ocean acidification killing that life below the sea, that sometimes our cries will go unheard unless you are willing to echo those cries for us. And so, as we think about COVID, as we think about climate change, as we think about justice for this planet, we are reminded that we are crying, but we are planting seeds of justice, seeds of peace, seeds of love. These are seeds of the kingdom. And if we plant together, we will, we will reap together this beautiful kingdom, this beautiful planet that has enough for all of us. God bless you.